All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool. So what you need to start is a minimum of two shapes. So it doesn't really matter what those shapes are. I'm gonna go ahead and make it look like this so that way we can really see what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna change the color here just again so we can kind of see. Okay, so what needs to happen is these two shapes need to overlap in some way. So if I put this here, right, um, what I need to do is select both of them, okay? Now, first thing I'm recognizing is if you don't have your Pathfinder open, okay, so mine is located right here, but if you don't have it open, you'll go to the window menu and you will find Pathfinder, okay? So there's a floating window of mine. Okay, so again, with these two shapes selected, uh, you have all these different options, okay? So right here at the top, this one says Unite. So now it's a f like one complete shape. I'm just pressing Control Z on my keyboard so that way it undoes what I just did, okay? This next one is Minus Front. Uh, remember that whatever last shape you drew will be above the other. So right now you can clearly see that the circle is above the, the rectangle that I drew. If I want that to be different, all I need to do is right click on that, go down to Arrange, and I can send it to the back, okay? So it can look different. All right, so if I do something like this, um, I can minus the front. Okay. I can also, this right here says intersect. So what will be left is where the two shapes intersect each other. And then this one is the opposite of this. And this will exclude the area where those two shapes intersect. Okay, so you have some options there. Um, these are the, the main ones that you guys are going to be using. So practice with those, but this is how you make more complicated shapes. So for example, let me show you, let's bring this one forward again. Okay, now let's say I bring, I create another, a set, like a copy of this. So I'm pressing the Alt key on my keyboard and I'm just creating another identical to it. Okay, so say I do something like this, right? And I select all three of those shapes. And if I press minus front, look at what you end up with, okay? So now, right now, these two things, even though they're, um, they're not connected, they're considered grouped. So I'm going to go up here to object and I'm gonna ungroup them so that now they'll be separate. So if I don't want that one, I can just delete it. Okay, so that would give me another shape. All right, a couple things to think about. 